Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Shine on the Rise. Remember what Lil Pump said? We got that one coming. Another Dallas rapper catching the heat. Blueface bleed him on the run. King Von sister on the dude that leaked the photos. And Quando speaks on how he feels about the whole situation. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because what we're giving you today is very similar to what you're always getting anyway. You see what I'm saying? Yo, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're feeling any part of this particular podcast. We appreciate y'all views each and every single day. Thanks for coming through. We're going to try to keep the intro short, so coming to the stage is your boy, Shine. See, these are the kind of stories ninjas should be setting you off with on the regular. You see what I'm saying? Not the bullish, but you came for the bullish anyway, didn't you? Well, guess what? In this arena, we got insanity in spades. But let me hit you with this parentheses first. Now, rapper Shine came through around the year 2000 with singles such as Bad Boys and performances on platinum albums such as Wayne's Carter 4, Biggie's Born Again, and Puff's album Forever. He was involved in a shooting, convicted of assault, and sentenced to 10 years in prison. And word is, your boy never pulled a snitch move while locked up. Respect. Now, after being released, right, your boy went to uh, Belize and just recently won his first political election. (laughs) That's right. Your boy won the Mesopotamia seat in Belize City for the House of Representatives and his sister, Denise Sister B. Barrow, won the Queen Square constituency. <laughs> you like, yo, what's that mean? That means your boy had a come up, man. Keep up. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't really know what that means. But my guy posted the following on the ground. He said, praise God for my 42nd birthday. I am tremendously blessed to have experienced a life of many more fortunes than failures. Even in my failures, I found fortune in the wisdom gained to grow stronger. You see that, man? He talk about learning. <laughs> is is a fortune anyway let me keep going he said i continue to live not to celebrate the dates but the purpose the legacy i wish to leave behind before i return to my maker every day i rise with the determination that my existence must be to add to the betterment of those around me especially the most vulnerable my reason for being is to leave this world better than i found it close quote see that if you leave this place right Make sure you leave it better than you found it. If you leave anything, I'm talking like if you're leaving a person, if you're leaving a job, anything, be sure to leave it better than you found it, man. Your presence should be a blessing and not a curse. You see what I'm saying? And speaking of leaving, right? Lil Pump, remember that dude? Yeah, yeah, I know you're not a fan. We did a story a few days ago where we reported that your boy said if Trump was not reelected, he would leave the United States. I know you're like, yeah, 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 where, where, where the bags at? Where's his bags? Uh, pump your brakes for a sec, okay? That was his threat to us, that he was going to leave the United States. And I'm pretty sure, right, <laughs> he messed up Republicans. They were probably like, yo, how do we keep Trump and dump pump? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? We're stumped. Well, your boy lost the election and did pump leave? Of course he didn't. Yo, come to find out, right? We just recently learned that your boy Lil Pump isn't even a registered voter. That's right. He endorsed your boy, clapped at Biden, and didn't even vote for Trump. Now, an investigation was done by the smoking gun, and they have reached a conclusion that there was no record of Gazi Garcia being listed even as a registered voter in the state of Florida. That's right, he's another Florida man. Incredible. Yo, why am I not shocked, right? Now, in case you forgot, Rich the Kid exposed the text receipts that rappers were being paid by Trump's admin team to uh, back him. Needless to say, we are still waiting for the both of them to get their red hats and keep it pushing. Now check this one out. I can't make this up, y'all. I went to the dentist today, right, to get a cleaning. And imagine this, while your dentist is cleaning your teeth, right right before applying the, the fluoride or whatever to your mug, an instrumental comes on. It's Drake's nonstop instrumental. And the dentist proceeds to slay the instrumental while scraping away plaque from your teeth simultaneously. Would you be amazed? And what if while he was killing the beat and cleaning your teeth, 
Bullets came whizzing in through the window and he hit the streets. You're like, the hell are you talking about, Celeb? Are you high? Celeb, don't do this. Uh, bruh. Dallas rapper, right? Dr. Rose is a dentist and a rapper simultaneously, dog. And he's juggling that combination. <laughs> Who is you? Yo, like you thought you was doing it with your little lyrics or your decent car. Oh, no. You, you, you was killing the game with that little doctor's office you got. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Can you do both at the same time, though? Now, you're like, yeah, but how real is he as a rapper? Bruh, have you, have you seen this side of people's mouths? Can it get any realer than that? You're like, yo, he got to dodge bullets to be a real one. Well, Dr. Rose definitely has. He could check that one off of his list as completed as well. According to sources, right, the victim, Dr. Rose, has been identified in social media as Dr. Jarrett Rosenborough, a.k.a. Dr. D. Rose, the, and the doctor has an office in a building where he was shot at, which explains his statement, uh, as reported on the police radio, that he was attacked in his office and tried to get away in his car before being shot. Now, Dr. Rosenberg was apparently an up and coming rapper when he was not treating patients. Now, at this hour, right, we still have no information on his condition. And we can identify at least, uh, they said, three bullet holes from uh, uh, two at the passenger side, one on the... On the uh, Two in the front and one on the passenger side, all right? There's a blood trail from the car and down the service road. The victim slash rapper told police that he was attacked at a different location and managed to get to his location after being shot. Yo, please tell me what y'all think about that one because I feel like I'm kind of speechless on that. You see what I'm saying? You're probably wondering to yourself right now, I wonder what Blueface Bleedem is up to. No? Well, now you are. And while we can't tell you what he's doing this very moment, we can tell you what he could be doing, and that's evading the police. Legend has it, right, that Blueface was invited to the set with the clever bait that it would be fun, but it ended with him hiding, complaining about the very bait that he took. And hey, yo, take a listen. Blueface, come to the set, they said. It will be fun, they said. <laughs> Nah, I'm sitting in some random person's front yard. Trying to get home. See y'all. I'm running from a helicopter right now. Dead, dead homies. Like, GTA. Y'all here, cuz. I'm making home now. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm making sure I know it's only got time to do a 10 day flash, bro. Yeah. Oh, like doing that. Now legend has it that Blueface is still waiting to get to that street. Now by now I know you've heard about the autopsy photos concerning King Von that leaked out all over the internet. And you know, while we will not be showing you those images, uh, uh, you know, the team is not trying to show you those images, right? There are many people that were outraged that someone had the audacity to even release those images to the general public to begin with. Well, now it looks like we could put a face to the person that leaked the images. And, and uh, you know, Source, the team, let's try not to air that man out, even though he, we should have every right and he deserves to be aired out in the same way that he aired out Vaughn's photos, but hopefully we don't do that over here. You see what I'm saying? King Vaughn's sister publicly checked the mortician who thought it was a good idea to leak the photos. Now, Vaughn's sister came out on social media, posting an image of the mortician and other personal information concerning the man and stated, quote, this the sick mother effer that posted my brother pictures. His whole job know he did the ish, but they trying to protect him. We need him fired now, close quote. Now, needless to say, that man would do good to take a few days off, seeing that tensions are high and potentially volatile, and folks <laughs> will probably want to put some pause on his behind. You see what I'm saying? And finally, Quando Rondo. You'll notice if you saw the interview that DJ Academics had with Vaughn's manager, you'll notice that he, Vaughn's manager, was relatively careful to mention uh, Rondo in the incident directly, which I found interesting. I mean, I have my guesses, right? But I would love to know exactly why he refused to mention his name. Anyway, right? Sources close to the incident have reported to TMZ that Quando, quote, feels extremely bad, close quote, 
about what happened that fateful night. And holding to the claim that his team acted out of self-defense, Quando's camp is still maintaining that he was not looking for a fight. And he woke up, saw a crowd outside the car, got out and stood outside the car. The other side of that story is that Vaughn heard about him sleeping and wanted to catch him asleep. Vaughn's manager stated that Vaughn jumped out the car and moved so promptly that he was barely able to keep up with Vaughn and the video appears to illustrate just that. I noticed someone mentioned in the comment section that Vaughn was told Rondo was in a white car and Vaughn looked like he was initially headed towards a right truck to his left but quickly turned his head to the right, perhaps realizing that the car uh, wasn't the white one on the left, but actually the one on his right. Nevertheless, it's worthy to highlight and underline the fact that the shooter was arrested, the case is closed, and Rondo was not, I repeat, he was not the shooter. Uh, he is also not under investigation. I'm noticing as time continues to elapse, more people are mentioning how the whole thing could have been avoided. And we already knew that, but it could have been avoided had cooler heads prevailed. And it's important to learn from an unfortunate situation as this, how quickly we could be removed from this life and introduced into the next. Yo, if you could avoid violence, avoid it. Your current bravado, which may have been successful in the past, could cut your story short. And as you can see in the vid, from the time he walked from the truck, 19 seconds is all it takes to make that difference. Hey, yo, let us know what you think, right? When someone disrespects you, what do you tell yourself to defuse the situation so it doesn't get out of hand? How do you reason it out in your head not to put pause on folks when they clearly appear to deserve it? What are your reasons? Do you, do you feel like a sucker afterwards? Do you feel wiser, powerful, cowardly when you avoid beef? What about you women? Ladies, what do y'all do, right? If someone came through in a comment section and said, this all started over a woman. Was it that? Was it respect, ego? Yo, hit us in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.